Thank you, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, tonight's class is basically uh, the basics of LinkedIn. The objectives for what we're going to do is to create a LinkedIn account, enter the information within the profile, and network with at least one LinkedIn member. Now, LinkedIn is a, is a primarily a social platform. It allows you, it's basically the new resume. So when you apply to a job, um, you fill out your resume and you send it into a company. Well, LinkedIn is helping you to, to use that as a platform. So um, it, it allows you to network with other people, which is really important. Um, everyone has their favorite social uh, platform that they like to use. Um, this is one of those, but it's a business professional um, platform. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to type in LinkedIn on your web browser. Your, your, your page comes up with LinkedIn. When you're going to uh, join, you will click on the Join Now. So basically what it does is it asks you for your email address. So you type your email address in there, and you're going to type your password. And you're going to go through the, the prompts that, to, to do that. Now, if at any time that you forget your password, there is an option that lets you reset your password. Um, but for normal users, you would agree and join. So since I already have an account, I'm going to go ahead and log in. When you first log into LinkedIn, it basically brings you to your home page. That should, explains everything that you have within your LinkedIn profile. So um, after you log in, you're going to view what you're going to view your home page. Your home page has your feed of everything that you um, that you're associated with, everyone within your network. It allows you to do different tasks. So if at any time that you want to go back home, you just click on the home button and they'll bring you back to your home. The second icon that's most frequently used is in My Network. So if you click on My Network, it gives you the list of all your contacts that you have. So right now, my connections, every connection that I've connected with um, is listed within that connections. Most importantly, um, LinkedIn is used as a job resource. So if you click on Jobs, it will suggest different jobs within your field. So my background, um, I'm, I work within food safety, um, so it gives me jobs that will be similar to what I'm looking for. And it allows you to, to both get in touch with that company as well as um, research things about the position. One of the newer options that they have is what's called messaging. Messaging allows you to interact with all your contacts. So like, um, I'll click on Maya. Maya is one of my contacts. So she's one of the people that I network within LinkedIn. So I can send her a, a message uh, on LinkedIn. I might ask her how, how's the day going, or I might ask her if she knows of any potential leads within LinkedIn. Your notification tabs, that's basically any time you have a, notifi a new notification. So when you first um, sign up for LinkedIn, it's going to ask you to create an account. It's going, to, it's going to send you, you're going to enter your email address. That is how you get notified with new um, uh, notifications. So if I, if I apply for a position at the Downers Grove Library and they have a hit, it'll send me a notification. They'll say, hey, you know, we have these, these many jobs available. If you're interested, you can apply for those. The next icon is your profile. This is the um, this is what everybody else views. So when you click on the icon, there's an option for you to say view profile. So when uh, when when everybody is logging into log LinkedIn, they look at your profile. This is what people see when they log in, and they t they type within the search program. They type Omar Martin. This is what would come up. Okay, that you are when you join or um, get a uh, you log into them. Uh, you have to also put all your information in there, right? Correct. So that everybody can 
Exodus. Yes. Yeah. And I'll go directly through that. So the first thing we, we, we're looking at is your profile. So with your profile, it explains who you are. So uh, my name's Omar Martin. I, I went to Loyola University. So this is what's called your banner. So if you click on this, it allows you to edit your background photo. Now, keep in mind, this is a professional um, platform. So it's, it's important to use pictures that represent, that are professional. Right. Um, if you, when you go through and look at a lot of um, profiles, pe some people don't put any background. Um, it's your choice. The next um, thing setting is obviously your profile photo. So here, it'll let you update and edit your profile picture. Now, as a plug um, to um, to Downers Grove. Um, library, we um, have services here where they take pictures for headshot photos. Um, obviously, this was pre um, pre COVID, but eventually, once those services come back up, I would argue that you should come to the library because they take professional photos for you, and you can use that as your LinkedIn profile. Next, obviously, it lets you edit who you are. So when you click on the edit. When you first log in, um, sign up for LinkedIn, it's going to ask you who you are. So you type your name, your first name, your last name. If you want to include pronouns, you can. Um, like for my headline, I put quality analyst at my, uh, Miss Con America. It allows you to put your, your most recent current position. It allows you to um, put the industry that you're, that you're in. You can type, so if you are if you work at the library, you can say library science, or you know what, whatever field that you're a part of, you can type within the industry. It also allows you to put your education in. So I went to the Loyola University of Chicago. Um, you can put as much, um, it allows you to add new education. So if you do um, uh, seminars, webinars, any type of uh, education that you want, you can add that to your profile. Obviously, it allows you to list location. In any of these things, um, you can put as much or as little information as you want. Um, the, the icons that have this asterisk above it says that you have to at least have that filled in. But um, you can put, if you don't want your postal code, you don't have to put that. For your city, you can just say Greater Chicago Area, or you can say Downers Grove. Whatever, whatever information that you want to put out there, you can edit that at any time. And when you're done with that, you click Save. On your profile setting, it'll also show you um, uh, things that you can add as well as icons. Um, one of the things that I like to um, do is I like pictures as, as well as videos. They allow you to upload videos as well. If I come down here to my experience, so I, I listed of my experience um, for each job that I had. Um, the current job that I have working as a quality analyst. Um, I, I, I inputted all my functions at that job. So. Um, what I found with LinkedIn is that if you view other people's profiles, you can get more specific into what you want to do with your profile. It's all about you. It also um, gives you ideas of something you left out. I agree. Right. Uh, no one person knows it all. Exactly. What's really nice is like um, if you want to include videos, you can. Mm -hmm. So like this one is. A link the new to, best way to make money online that nobody's talking about is something you've never heard of before. A company that I work for, you. and it's helmets. Guests want to top their burgers with the best mayo. Give them the best burger experience by putting helmets within their reach. Eight. So that's a nice function that you can do as well. Right. 
The next icon that is most important is putting your education in. So here, I went to Loyola University. You can add the dates in, as well as your degree that you put in there. They also give you, um, uh, if you want to include more other things that you've done, like such as volunteering. Yeah, that's very that important. Well. Yeah. Um, one, one section that's really good is the skills area. Um, a lot of companies will look at, um, when they look at your LinkedIn profile, they're looking for, for skills. They're looking for, do you have assess what, what's needed for the position? So it's, it's a good point to add skills to that. For mine, I included quality assurance. Uh -huh. And you can add whatever whatever's needed or update as needed. Another good profile um, is to have recommendations. Now, um, in this section, you can give recommendations to other people, or you can have someone give a recommendation to you. And the last part is interest. So this is, um, if there's like influencers or people that you would follow, they, they come up in here. So it's also listed as um, Paul Pullman, He's um, used to be over Unilever, and um, he regularly posts to his LinkedIn profile. So that's one of the persons that I follow. All right, so after we, we've logged into LinkedIn, we viewed our homepage, we did our profile, and now comes the network. So if you're searching for someone, I'm going to go ahead and search for... Michael Jordan. In the profile, you can search for anyone who's, who's, whose name is Michael Jordan. Now, obviously, um, the one I'm looking for is this American basketball player, Michael Jordan. Right. Now, obviously, um, anyone who can create a LinkedIn account, and it's um, something that they actually verify, but this particular account um, might not be one that's um, monitored by Michael Jordan. But you, it allows you, if you see the person that you want to connect with, you would click on the connect button. So say I want to connect with Michael Jordan. I say, Mike, I want to connect with you. I would click on that connect button, and it allows me to connect to him. So it's all about build, building your network. Okay, so he, he, there's no, there's no, you know, he doesn't have to agree, you just connect. And then maybe you know, if he feels like you're, you're, you're not the, uh, into what he, what he is, uh, what they call it, uh, if you're not the type of person that he likes to deal with, he might want to exclude you, right? That's correct. So when I send an invitation to you, if you, if you don't know who I am or don't accept it, you can decline. Okay. Um, if you say, hey, yes, I know Omar. I think he's the person I want to connect with. Then right. you accept it. So right. then I will be able to see your information. Right. One other good function of the search button, obviously, with LinkedIn, is you want to research companies. So say I want to research uh, Downers Grove Public Library. If, if, they, if a company has created a LinkedIn page, it'll show up. So here, um, Downersville Public Library has their own LinkedIn site. And you can view their page by clicking on this icon. What's nice about it is that it explains everything about that company that they have with, within LinkedIn. And if they have any um, jobs that are available, you can click on that particular icon and you can apply for those jobs. Right. On your LinkedIn profile, there's also an option to add particular um, photos, videos. You can create an event on LinkedIn, or you can write an article.
one of my favorite um, websites is USA Today. So say I want to do a post to LinkedIn and I have an article. I go into the money section here. And say this is the article that I want to paste. Uh -huh. I would highlight it. Cut, copy, and to start that post, I would click on paste. paste. And what it does is it creates a post for you. So when you go ahead and post that, it will automatically show on your profile as a new post. Okay, uh, when you're posting, that's in this book here on how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. I, don't, uh, I don't think I do it. Okay. okay. You know, um, in the book, there's definitely resources about changing your profile yeah. and changing your banner and your photo. So, but um, if you want to post, you can definitely do that as well. Okay. Now I can call my librarian right trying to browse, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, at any time that you want, you can certainly come to the library and uh, book a tech and certainly um, set aside some time that you can, for any questions that you have. Yeah, no, I've, I've done that many times and they're, very, they're pretty good about it. And I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Another plug that I want to do, um, with LinkedIn, um, they have online classes. Um, Microsoft is the parent uh, company for LinkedIn. And obviously, there are many classes you can take online. But LinkedIn Learning is an option for one of them. So if you go to our the Down and Scroll the Library website, and click on Research, click on All Databases, and then for the Research tag, just type L. Click on the Apply Filter, and what you come down here is to the LinkedIn Learning. And what's really nice about this particular service that it provides for Down and School patrons is you're able to look at a whole list of classes that are offered, supported by LinkedIn. Okay. So when you come to this particular option and click on Get Started, you get to enter your library card number as well as your PIN. Just like if you're logged into a computer here, right. and that'll bring up classes. One of my favorite um, YouTube personalities is a guy named Oliver. Um, as you can see on his particular profile page, he's also included an in audio, which is really nice. So anything, Oliver Shinken from LinkedIn. Anything that sets your profile apart is something that um, will allow you to be researched by companies, uh, people out there are looking for you. Uh -huh. And just to give a resource about LinkedIn Learning, basically brings up a course within there. And then it explains to you, you can search different um, topics. You can search uh, uh, link, uh, LinkedIn basics. Lifelong learner. I'm Oliver Shinton, staff instructor at LinkedIn. And in this course, I want to introduce you to an extremely powerful learning tool, and that is LinkedIn Learning. LinkedIn Learning has over 15,000 courses in its library taught by thousands of industry leaders and top instructors from around the world. And there's constantly new courses being added. It includes courses from the fields of business, creative, and technology, which cover a wide range of technical skills, soft skills, digital tools, software titles, and more. And then so there's, there's a vast variety of things that you can use, both within this platform as well as LinkedIn Learning. Right. Well, now you don't even have to go to school. You just take on to LinkedIn and you got it all. <laughs> wow. So 
Now that we've logged into LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn we've created our profile. It, it allows us to be out there on the World Wide Web. So if anybody wants to search you, they can. Right. Um, one feature that's still on the basic one is you can see who's viewed your profile. So if you click on this particular icon, it'll show you all the people who has who has looked at your profile. By name? By name. Ooh. Sometimes um, people block. You can block um, your name. You can so still I, do that? Yeah. How do you do it? I, um, that's something I can definitely go over. Um, I, I don't regularly do that, so. Yeah, I, cause, cause, I um, we used to, when I went into um, settings, I couldn't find it. So, because they used to, it used to be you could pick someone from, or you didn't get anybody, but I didn't find it in settings anymore. So where is it in settings? Right, I, I, I don't know exactly where, but I'll definitely um, research okay. that. Okay. But obviously you can still, because this person has been on just a month ago. Do you think it could be only premium people now? It might be the premium base. I'm thinking that's what it is, because I could not, I don't have a premium account and I couldn't find it in settings, and it used to be there and it wasn't there. So I wonder, like messaging for premium account, I was surprised at that, that they didn't have in-mail anymore where you can pay to get mail. Right. So that surprised me. Okay. That does sound like a premium feature, but I'll, I'll definitely research that and, okay. and come up. Yeah. Because um, yeah, I bet you it is. Yep. Because what we're, we're doing here is a free version. You yes. Don't have to pay for it. <laughs> yes, this is the free version. There's one that you can pay for it, and I think you, how much you get a month free? I, I believe it's a month free. Yeah, and then after that you have to pay. So if you're looking for a job, that may be okay. How much is it a month? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Like twenty bucks. Something it's like about that. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you join with somebody else and then you know just pay ten? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> No, you can't do couples profiles. <laughs> <laughs> so as always, when you're dealing with your LinkedIn profile, you want to edit it and you want to tweak it. Um, if you see things that you don't like, you can take things out. Obviously, things change. Yes. You know, you lose your job or you move to a different position. You want to update that. Right. So when you go into your profile, when you come down to your experience, you can always edit. An update. You can add to that. So if I click on here, I can add a position. I fill out all the things that's necessary for it, and I would save that. And normally, they they give a date range, so it automatically updates for you. Um, so right now, this particular thing it says it will since it's a present position, it'll uh, automatically update for you. And that goes for your for your education as well, if you want to update that. And that's something that constantly changes. So like when you take courses, you want to add that to your profile. You know, right. anything that, that's helpful. So, um, do you have a particular um, company in mind that you would like to research? Not, not at this moment. Uh, How about Amazon? Amazon, yeah, that's a good one. How much is their stock? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, obviously, Amazon has more than one. Page so and maybe they haven't created a particular um, account. I'm sure they have, but it le it lets you look to see which people that you can follow. Um, they have an Amazon Web Service 
the Apple. We'll go on Microsoft. Microsoft owns LinkedIn. So if you research that, that particular company, it'll come up. And that's the basics for LinkedIn learning. Great. So it's a special uh, what call it, uh, place where you can go in there and really do business as far as getting yourself a good job or also uh, communicating with other individuals who have more or less the same interests as you. Yep. Very good. It's all about the network. Exactly. And most most uh, places like that, you know, they're you know, they're more or less like this, but this this seems like it's a little more professional. Yes, it's a business site, and they try to keep things professional. Um, as with anything, um, people can post what they want to post. So I think LinkedIn tries to, to go in there and not let you view things that are um, not business related. Right. Um, but certainly, you can post you can post a picture of your granddaughter, or you know, you can yeah, do if things it personal. If it, ties, if it ties into your accomplishments too. Sure. Like um, anyone that I'm connected to, if I view my um, home screen, um, so this particular person um, wanted to share about the loss of a family member. You know, that's something that's important to them. You know, yeah. you can post things like that. So, yes, it's business, business as professional, but you can make it personal. Is there any other questions? No, that's pretty good. Yeah, your name, Omar? Omar. Um, Omar. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I, got, I got a different accent. Omar. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. There's no problem. No, that's good. I, I really appreciate it. It, it. it gives me a good understanding of uh, you know what what's out there. And this this is very helpful. And uh, at times when I'm when I'm uh, what do you call it uh, surfing, I I do see the uh, LinkedIn, you know, so I, you know, I kind of figured that, you know, they're tied into something here. Well, you got an account, you just got one of the passwords. Yeah, well. So, uh, just come in and work with us. We'll, we'll get you set up and show sure. you roll. Right. And also get your headshot. There you go. Take a nice picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thank you very much. It's great. Good. Thank you. Great. I think you're doing fantastic. I wish we had more people. You know, this stuff is very important. Well, that's why we're filming. Yeah, and you know, like myself, I mean, you know, like younger people are probably already too far off, you know, they're already into this stuff. But you know, us older people, we don't understand. We don't, if I see on, on my phone, it say LinkedIn, you know, you know what the heck is that? Some, some company or something, but I'm using it. And yet I don't know, I understand what, what its what real function is. Yeah. Well, if you have a business, that's another. I have a business page, so. Right. Well, I do I do have a business, but I mean, I, I just <laughs> do what I have to do, and you know. Yeah. And, but um, it's, yeah. uh, it's, you know, some people have, uh, they really go, uh, kind of go 100%. If this is, it's just like business, and I try not to, you know, just. Well, he goes 100%. Oh, yes. Omar, Omar just oh, well, loves LinkedIn. I, I love never... it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's information. Good. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and uh, you become more refined. I exactly. Think. Yeah. I mean, that's what I want to be. A little bit more refined, but I'm so far out. <laughs> it's I don't never know too late. I'll ever get there. Never too late. <laughs> so I, mean, I, I just keep trying. Yep. Yeah. Well, I thank you. That was fantastic. And I'm going to take the book and if I run into any problems, I'll just keep it. Okay, it. that's your book. Yeah, it's just too bad that... The uh, next time you come, it'll be a different book. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, I... But, it keeps uh, changing. It changes. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, you know, information changes. And also, uh, what about techniques? Changes. Well, I think that they're, they're smart now. They're charging for everything, which before they didn't do. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, they call it job security. Yeah. <laughs> I always I saw always that. And I'm over here sinking, drowning, and, <laughs> and job security is not going to help me. Yeah. I always thought uh, New York Times should always uh, 
charge and now they're starting to everything like after 10 you have to pay but i always thought why don't they charge for articles so yeah there so you now go. they're charging there you go. <laughs> that's right okay